Alright, so what's up YouTube? Tamer G here. Uh, we are here playing some Pokemon Duel. I built a new deck. It's very, 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 very in in the works. It still needs some tweaks. But so far, it's been working out pretty well. I've won three out of four games. So, um, I played quite a few, actually. I played more than five. Whatever, I've lost like two or three with it. And... It's been pretty cool. People don't see it coming. People, you know, kind of like sleep on these. They sleep on these figures, which they shouldn't. So let's go ahead and show the recent replay, which was just a couple minutes ago. I was playing for fun. And yeah, I love this new uh, dual playback feature. It's so cool. I love how they added it. It's, it's great. Alright, so as you can see, we're playing up against a decently standard deck. Uh... An Evo Grovile, a not Mega Charizard, surprisingly. A Tapu Koko, a Wismakai, you know, a Greninja, and Vicavolt, which I haven't seen that much. And we're playing Double Mimikyu, Ghastly, and a Triple Lady Bar. So yeah, Lady Bar I just brought because, um, you know, people usually don't, you know, they don't know what Lady Bar really does. Lady Bar is a little, like, it's, it's difficult. It's not difficult, it's just people don't really see it in the meta. So that's why I'm using it, because Lady Bot is the best Pokemon launch game. It's one of the best, though. One of the best, in my opinion. Because I love it, because it was my first shiny. Um, but, yeah, so. As you can see, I made a couple quick plays. Let me go back and tell you guys. So, I moved Mimikyu here, because it blocks off Coco, because it's a fairy type, so Coco can't run through it. Uh, we put Lady Bot here, because it has that 30 chance, and he has the big 20. So if he lands the 20 and doesn't land it again, we beat him. But, that, it's really not the best matchup. If you want to go ahead and play Risky, you can. But, you know. And then we put Ghastly there because Ghastly doesn't mind being surrounded. So even if you place something on the goal, uh, we don't mind getting in between there. And then eventually go here and just Pokemon Swap and surround him. So yeah, the deck also consists of a Double Plate, two X Attacks, a um, Pokemon Switch, a Hurdle Jump, and then a Goal Block. Which I'm thinking about swapping out the Hurdle Jump for two more Poke Pokemon Switches. Don't know yet. Anywho, yeah, back to the play. Uh, how do you hit playback? There we go. Alright, so then he moves Vikavolt there, which rolls all of that. Now, this is the best part about Ladybot. It doesn't matter if you get that stun, because you can use Swarm and add it back onto the board. Which is an ability I think people sleep on. I'm telling you, that ability is great. Luckily, I get the miss. I do get a, quite a few lucky rolls. Um, so, yeah, we play Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Uh, I got both of them in a pool, a pack pool, which I, pro I, I think I deleted. Yeah, I might still have it. I really hope I still have it. If I deleted it, oh well. Um, but yeah, I, I got it in a, I got both of them in the same, same pack pool. It was crazy. Well, not the very, very same one, but it was like you know tickets. Uh, I go ahead and play the other Mimikyu because I can start going in very aggressive. And yeah, so then I end up going there. Originally, I should have went there in the first place uh, because he would have had the gold block and I would have the Greninja dead sooner. But you know what? Too late to undo it. He goes for a dodge. Or he gets a dodge. I take out the Greninja because Greninja needs to be off the board ASAP. Allowing my Lady Balls to start progressing towards him. I believe I move Mimikyu here. No, I add the Lady Ball right behind Mimikyu. Uh, he attacks my Ghastly, which I think he kills, correct? Yep. He lands a Moonbass. I land Astonish. I'm out. Uh, I go ahead and move in with Mimikyu to force him to start surround killing me. He moves up because he knows even if I get surround kill, it doesn't matter. So I move back Lady Ball. Lady Ball is there, and then he goes in at my Lady Ball. I believe I lose this one. Yep, Moonblast to attack. Well, of course we lose with my luck. Um, so then I go straight for a gold block because I need to keep myself alive. I do not gold block Mimikyu so that he can't run through um, and get the strong kill. So I go Lady Ball. Lady Ball gets the double edge on the cock guard, which is amazing. Uh, this is why I love Lady Ball. He's just a suicide bomber, which is so much fun. And then it evolves into Ledian. Now, I recommend running all Evos into Ledians. Um, but if you don't, you know, it's cool. I, I, I can only, I only wanted to get one, so. I only had one, I should say. Uh, I moved Ladybaugh there just so that Mimikyu can no longer get surround killed. He's going in with Vikavolt. Uh, I block him off with Ghastly, which Ghastly is amazing for this. Um, he goes in with a hurdle, jumps over my Ghastly into the slot there. I think I just go through and block off the entry point. And then he goes in against my Ghastly. I believe my Ghastly does, yep, he does live. Which is great. And I believe I move Lady Ball here. No, I move Mimikyu back with the safest play. He goes in on my Ghastly again. 
It's a Volt Switch, which doesn't do anything. I don't know what Volt Switch actually does. I need to look into that. And then I move Leedy Ball there, and now he has one last shot to kill it. Or kill my Ghastly, or he can try to stop my Leedy Ball. He goes in against the Leedy Ball. We get the Light Screen, which is my favorite one of its abilities, besides the Double Edge. And then we go in, we get the Sauron Kill, and that is game right there, because he can't beat us. Uh, he goes in with Charizard. Charizard is going to get the, I believe, Dragon Toe? Yeah, Dragon Toe against my Shadow Claw, which doesn't kill me, it just sends me back to the bench. Uh, thanks to Disguise, it didn't kill me, and it just sends me back to bench. And then I just win with Weedy Ball. Weedy Ball coming through, coming at your face. He ain't giving up. So, that's the first game. Let's move on to game two. Okay, okay, I started recording late. Game two, a little bit more standard, kind of. Uh, he's got a Scizor in his sight there, so let me stop the game. Stop it. Stop. Nope, it hit. I accidentally hit play. Never mind. So, we lead off Weedy Ball in front of his Gengar... Stop it, stop the game, stop the game, stop, stop. I moved Mimikyu back there because he's probably going to move through our Leedy Ball. Now, now that we stopped, now that we stopped, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his team. So he's got an Evo Scyther into Scizor, of course. He doesn't have the Mega, which is great for me. Um, he also has Grovile, which is all the way up to Sceptile. He has Glycopod, which seems to be pretty good in the meta right now, in my opinion. And then he's like the next... In my opinion, he could be, if he had more uh, movement and could actually fly over things, he could be a better Zapdos, in my opinion. And then we got Zapdos, the 110 Thunder Crasher. Um, and then we got Pupitar, which is the Evo one, of course, into T-Tar, so that it, when it hits Thrash, you know, it doesn't have to worry. It also has Recycle and Desperate Times. Uh, Desperate Times is for that Thrash. Yeah. And then he has Mega Gengar and Sceptile Light. So he does have Mega Sceptile, okay. I know he has Mega Gengar. I don't know if he used it in this game. He does have Mega Sceptile. Oh, that's cool. All right. So, yeah, that, that's the team we're up against. Same team we're using. There we go. Or we're using the same team. So he instantly, instantly Mega Gengars. So this was yesterday. I don't remember exactly, but this guy's a little higher ranking than me, obviously. So he goes ahead and moves right through and attacks my my Mimikyu. Uh, he gets the Toxic. I get the Miss. Really, really annoying, but I have to move that Mimikyu back. I believe. Yep. Oh no, I dropped Gold Block on my Leedy Ball. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Uh, he goes ahead, moves over there, trying to get rid of the Leedy Ball. And we line Light Screen, blocking off his Toxic, which is amazing. Uh, we end up getting the other Leedy Ball there just to scare him. Of course, he runs away. He attacks our Leedy Ball. Our Leedy Ball does get Toxic. Okay. I knew we lost that combat. I was like, do we? Get toxic or what? So essentially, these leading balls are just stalling out his turns as a mega, and this is his last turn as a mega. Instead of being able to actually use this mega, he ends up just toxicing two Pokemon and making it basically worthless. Except for the part where, oh, we're still poisoned, so he can move right over us and kill us. But he doesn't actually do it throughout the whole game. You guys will see in a minute. So we move Mimikyu there. Um, I'm surprised he didn't do it here and just get rid of my leading ball right then and there. But you know what? Hey, everyone has their different play styles. Um. We go ahead and move Mimikyu up too because we, we can't die to that. I mean, we can't die to that combat. So I went ahead and moved up too. He goes for a Thrash. We get a Destiny Bond, which is a double kill. He gets his uh, Tyranitar. My Ghastly goes down. If I had a Gengar, I would do I would totally run the, the, the Evo, but hmm, don't have it. All right, so Titar is out of the game. We go ahead and take his entry point there. This one was a pretty long game, so pardon me if I get run out of breath. But then he goes ahead and Scythers over there. I can't really do much except for maybe I could have swarmed, but I didn't want to do that. We do get the curse, meaning that if we can hit this thing, it's out of the game. Now, with my dumb luck, uh, I always miss, but I go for an X attack and I'm like, I gotta hope he doesn't land on anything powerful. I gotta hope he doesn't land on anything powerful. He lands on the Swords Dance, I'm like, alright, alright, give me a miss, please, now that he got on the Swords Dance. Instantly goes on the 50. If he would've just landed on the 50 in the first place, we would've taken him out. But no, he would've been out of the game, we would've been safe. But no, he gets his Scizor, which is really scary. Um, and he doesn't even advance. Like, what the heck? He could have easily advanced and probably won the game right there, but he didn't, so lucky me. He goes for a squeezing crush, which kills my Mikyu. Luckily for me, Disguise is active, and we just move the other way, and we're like, we gotta start playing safe, we gotta get rid of this Gengar, or at least get rid of my Mikyu. We gotta, we gotta start making plays, so yeah, his Scizor moves there. Now, I believe I moved back just so that I wouldn't lose my Leedy Ball, and he wouldn't be able to just take on my Leedy Ball there. He attacks, I get a, I get a play rough, he gets a dodge. So, you know, 
after that, the life happens. Um, he then attacks with his Gengar on my Lady Ba, and then I get a light screen, he gets a dodge. Again, things happen, and then I go in to try to get rid of him, which I do, lucky me, play rough, and he can't use a plate this turn, which is great. I go ahead and progress. I believe. Next, I get taken out by this Gengar. Um, he moves in. He attacks Mimikyu. Uh, Mimikyu gets another kill. This Mimikyu is out for blood. The thing I love about Disguise is it got rid of the Toxic, which was the best part. And then we go in, and I needed him to land on the yellow. That's all I needed. I would have been happy. I still would have lost, but I would have been happy. He moves there. Which then makes me move my Lady Ball back. He moves in as Tyranitar. Now I'm in trouble. I'm down two Lady Balls, a Ghastly, and a Mimikyu on the board. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to start progressing and try to surround kill and start taking out my opponent. He instantly takes out my Ghastly. So I'm in trouble normally. And then I just use the Swarm effect to have three Lady Balls standing next to each other looking adorable. And then I block off my entry point so he can't take it. He attacks my Lady Ball. I'm flying, so Earthquake shouldn't do anything, but he lands on the crunch, and we crash, which is great, because I get rid of his T-Tart, and it gets my Lady Ball engine going, hopefully, if I can get my, um, if I can get another Lady Ball to die, the poison one preferably, if I can get that one to die, then I can just get a Lady Ball engine where, like, no matter what, I'll always have a Lady Ball to put on the board, and then with that, if, it, if another Pokemon dies, I can put a Lady Ball on the board with Swarm, and it really just keeps it going. Um... He goes in with his Sizz Ore, and I'm just slowly progressing with my other Mimikyu, you know, making my way. And then he kills me, because of my luck. And, um, yeah, we move in with Mimikyu. And I believe, yeah, we do lose another fight, which is amazing. He gets to jump right on over my Lady Ba. So I go ahead and move in with Ghastly, forgetting again, I could just use the Lady Ba to block off that point, but I didn't. Like, I'm not, I'm an idiot. Um, he gets an SD and <laughs> kills me again. That's always awesome. I believe I just move in Ghastly here. Yeah, because I, I have no other option. I'm pinned up against the wall. I'm probably going to lose this. This has been a while. I don't, I don't remember much about this game. I think I remember how it ends. I hope I remember. Uh, if I don't, oh well. But, um, yeah, he, oh, okay. he recycled, which was his big mistake. Because now it gives me a fighting chance again. Um, he goes for my Lady Ball. I believe my Lady Ball crashes and instantly throws away his Mega Gengar, which is freaking hilarious. A Lady Ball took out a Mega Gengar. Only in Pokemon Duel, folks. Um, with Double Edge, my <laughs> With Double Edge. Only in Pokemon Duel. Uh, we move in with Mimikyu's, and we're just going to start rushing him down since now, you know, only two, three things are on the board. I can rush him down, drop him. And just, you know, start taking out things, taking blood, you know, going for blood and start taking things out. He, on his turn, he takes out my Ghastly. Luckily, I didn't attack him, right? He jumps right on over, which is fine by me. I go ahead and move my Lady Ball in. And if he attacks my Lady Ball, my Lady Ball gets Light Screen and he, gets, he doesn't get the yellow, I can start on killing with my other Lady Ball. So, we end up getting a Double Edge again, crashing, which is great. And now we have two Lady Balls coming on the board. Another one in the PC. Uh, I, it turns out that was the Ledian that... Is really insignificant because if this ends how I remember it ends, because I'm starting to remember the match. I'm starting to remember. Uh, we don't really need Lydian. So then he goes in against my Mimikyu. My Mimikyu wins. Yep. And this is where the Mimikyu's just start going to town. Mimikyu's gonna start rushing up towards the Zapdos, and now he moves in. He's starting to play defensive with his T Tar. I move in. I don't attack. I stay where I am. He moves in Gengar. I move. Oh, he does attack. Okay. He attacks. I get the curse, he gets the Contagious Fear, which doesn't allow my uh, Mimikyu to move. I move in the Lady Bot instead of, you know, being smart and having it, you know, pop up here, but whatever. Uh, he's moving in with his Gengar. I go ahead and move back just to make sure he can't win the game. He moves in again with Gengar. I believe I just move on to the entry point with the other Lady Bot. Oh, oh never mind. I get the Double Edge. I forgot. So, I get the Double Edge. Now... This is where my opponent is now the one backed into a corner. Because yeah, he's going to start progressing with that. Or he's going to progress, air quotes. Um, 
he's just trying to basically try to get me, bait me into trying to go for the strong kill. It doesn't work. I end up getting the curse there, which is amazing. I end up going here with Gassy, I want to say. No, I move in with Mimikyu now that there's not the other thing there so he can instantly surround kill me. He moves in with his uh, freaking Glycopod, and I move Ghastly right there. He moves in with Glycopod again, and I believe, yes, he does get the miss. I take him out. I don't have to worry about Glycopod, I believe. Oh, never mind. I thought I went for the entry point. Never mind. We move there. He's going after my Mimikyu. I believe Mimikyu loses. Yep. Mimikyu loses. We all get a re we all have to spin. I believe I don't get a miss. Yeah, I don't get a single miss. So everyone lives except oh actually Mimikyu does live because of the ability. So then here's where the fun happens. He attacks my Mimikyu. He gets a miss. I get a dodge. Or he gets a dodge. I get a miss. And then I play the I play the Pokemon Switch. Swapping that out, sacking a Lady Bot to take out a Tyranitar and a Zapdos. Again, only in Pokemon Door do you get to take out a Mega a Legendary and a Pseudo Legendary. And then we just, you know, he moves in with his Scizor on his turn. He tries to take out my Mimikyu. My Mimikyu lands a player off. He actually does kill my Mimikyu. But I have Dix Disguise and I pick up the W. Only in Pokemon Duel, folks. That's the game. Only in Pokemon Duel can you get amazing things like Lady Boss taking down legendary pseudos and other things of the sort. Uh, I believe it was Mega Gengar as well, and then like one other thing in the other game. I don't remember. But yeah. Again, this this was to show off this deck I built. It's not built for meta, <coughs> but it can be used for that. It's a really fun deck, in my opinion. It's really fun to just, you know, mess around with your opponent, get the surround kills. Uh, use Ghastly so that you set up like like how I showed you there with the Zapdos and Tyranitar You can set up things like that. Sack a useless Pokemon, which usually in this team is Lady Ball. Um, you can do stuff like that and just instantly wipe two creatures off the board or two Pokemon right off the board, which is amazing. I've been playing too much Magic. I've been wanting to say creatures like throughout this whole video. I think I've said it once or twice. Let's go ahead and open up this booster. It just so happens to finish up there. All right, so let's see Shroomish and an Ingot. So yeah. Um, more stuff like this, Pokemon Duel stuff, coming to you guys. I'm going to leave this unlocking. I'm going to have what Rico does usually and have the things already unlocked for you guys to view and see on here on the channel. Every time I do a video, hopefully I can have something on the bottom down here for y'all. And that'll be it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.